My name is Matthew. And I'm Carol. My channel is called Love, Health, and Science because well, we're in love, we're engaged, and I like health and science because I'm a nursing student. Here's my engagement right here. And I am going to school to become a cosmetologist. And we met on the internet on myyearbook.com and it's meetme.com now. And it's been a good relationship. We've been engaged for a year now. And I went trade for him. Oh, he's so sweet. So, how do you think an interracial relationship is? You know, would you recommend it to anybody? Definitely. I think if it's someone you really want, no matter like what color they are, if they make you happy, then you should definitely pursue it. And I agree because we come from different backgrounds and. You know, opposites attract, and you know, I've never had a relationship last this long. We've been together for about two years, and we've been engaged for one year, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. Mm -hmm. And she's like my um, semicircle, and I'm a semicircle, and you know, without each other, we're not complete. So. Okay. Um, so for you, um, do you feel like in the future, what do you see for that? Well, I see me being a nurse, and I see you being a cosmetologist, and we live in a nice neighborhood, and we're married, and have like one or two kids, not 15. Oh, we don't want 15. How did your parents uh, react when you told them he was dating a white guy? Well, my main parent is my mom. I know my dad, but I'm not really. Um, he's not really a part of my life, basically. And when I told my mom, she was okay with it. She wanted um, me to try it out and see if it was something that I wanted, and it was. And now she's happy more than ever. Uh, more so because I'm happy and because I, it's someone you know that isn't trying to lead me down the wrong path and is just the wrong person, someone that actually cares and has something going for themselves and any parent would be happy with that. Yeah and my parents, um, I had to convince them. <laughs> um, I was not, I didn't dress the best before I met her and I, I sagged, I had, you know, sparkly clothes, I was bandanas, all types of stuff. You know, I looked up the rappers, and I had, I wanted to be a rapper and everything, and then, you know, when I got engaged and in a relationship, it really made me put things in perspective, and I thank you for that. And then she had me, um, I have this now, got a button up. And Oh, uh, overthrow. Um, I'm going to be a nurse. Crazy. I don't look up to rappers anymore. I got new role models like uh, Dr. Michu Kaku from Japan. He's real good. And Dr. Neil Tyson DeGrasse. You know, and well, me and her, we, we're, we don't see eye to eye on everything. Like, we still like different music. Uh, different styles and everything, but that's any relationship. And, and some, sometimes it's like a part of someone like that they just like something, and at the end of the day, you have to make sacrifices for one another, and you have to just deal with it and um, just do things, you know, with one another as best as you can. Because um, if it's a part of someone, then if you really want to be with them, then you won't change them or judge them. Just only try to make it better. Yeah, and uh, I was watching The Big Bang Theory, and uh, Raj, the Indian, he uh, he wanted to date Sheldon's sister, and he said diversity makes the best offspring. And I was like, mean, he's gonna have some great offspring <laughs> in the future. And By the way, Big Bang Theory rocks. I love that show. Yeah, it's a great it's show. All thanks to him. I never watched it before I made it. So. Yeah, I mean, I like forced her to sit down and watch it. Yeah, I was like, uh, yeah, but wait a minute, I actually get most of it. We joke around. I joke that I'm high 
forward because I kind of look like it with my yes. hair. And then <laughs> she acts like Penny because she's real into fashion and she's <laughs> you know, crazy. And it's hilarious. <laughs> and both of us have our own character on there. Yeah. But overall, you know, our relationship is great and. I don't think that race should be a factor in anybody's decision to date because if somebody makes you happy, then you should be with them. Life is short, so you should be happy with who you're with. And both of us are trying to be productive members of society, and we're just trying to make the world better. And together, we're twice as strong. Two brains. <laughs> And, um, or maybe one and a half. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, you got the half brain. <laughs> and she cooks real good, and I taught her my Dorel casserole recipe. Yes, Dorel casserole is so good. You should totally look it up and cook it. It's really good. Mm -hmm. And the first time I came over here, I, I came to her house first. Her mom didn't believe I was real. <laughs> And I had to send a picture of my driver's license before we met. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I came over here, and both her brothers came out protecting her. And, yeah. <laughs> and they're way younger than me, so. Yeah, and it was it was a good first meeting. And then uh, my parents came to where we live, where she lives, and. We um, ate out at Ray's. Yeah, the first time. We'd been dating about a month before my parents met her. Mm -hmm. And we bowled. We ate at Ray's, which is a burger joint. And it was it was a good experience, you know. Um, it was the best first date you I had. <laughs> and if your parents, you know, they may say they disagree with interracial marriage. But the best thing to do is say just... Just meet them and give them a chance. Because that's what I did to Carol. And they met her. And now they're close as all can be. They joke. They laugh. She spends a week with us. And um, they just get along great. And uh, Mama, she calls her uh, her own daughter. And my dad, uh, yeah, they get along good. Jokes with him a lot. Yeah. She, he, she would call him baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yep, and her and my sister's best friends, and it's just been a good experience, and I just think that race, really there's no such thing as race if you really study science, because it's just a different tone of melanin um, expressed through the genetics, but I won't get into that yet, I'll, I'll make some more science videos later, but I had to explain that to my parents, you know, and uh, they agreed to meet her. We bowled, and I think Carol let him win at first, you know, to win him over. But it went great, and they really enjoy me and, and tell me they enjoy when I come out of there. And my mom, I know they definitely, my family definitely uh, loves when he mm -hmm. comes over and does the same. Yep. So, uh, what would your last advice be for anybody out there? My last advice would be. You mainly like follow your heart and no matter, no matter what family or friends say, like if you're in an interracial relationship or any type of relationship, whether it's two boys, two girls, or black or white, makes two white, whatever, um, you just go for it. If you feel like that's you'll be able to for the rest of your life, then do it. My last piece of advice would be um, just. Love will find a way, whether your parents will uh, stop you or not, love will find a way, just like Romeo and Juliet. And my other piece of advice is to uh, always stay looking good, you know, comb your hair, brush, dress good, like, dress good like me, you don't have to have sagging pants, you don't have to dress like a bum to get a girl. Because there are girls out there that likes good guys, and she's proof of one. And, you know, I joke with her sometimes that my baby's going to wear uh, a little shirt that says, My dad's a nerd, but I'm proof that he got laid at least once. <laughs> so, we're totally getting that. So we're definitely going to get that. But I'll make some more videos later, mostly about health and science. And we'll be back in 
So just subscribe to our channel. You can follow me on YouTube, um, Twitter at Anatomy Fast Fact, and you can follow her on YouTube at Carol Ann Nolan. Um, it'll be three N's all together. A N N N O L A N Carol Ann Nolan. And um, just stay subscribed to our channel, and we'll have some videos up. And a lot of our videos will be about Crohn's disease. And um, yeah, it's something that my daughter. Yeah, she's got Crohn's, and I'm a nurse, so I love anything with health. So just stay tuned and stay in love.